Welcome to our most recent roundup of significant financial news for elderly citizens in Canada. We have some great news to share in today's video. The QRI has announced a new $4,800 CPP pension deposit that will take effect immediately. We'll begin by outlining the Canada Revenue Agency's CARAE notice regarding this new deposit. It has been certified by the CARAE that seniors who qualify will get a $4,800 lump sum CPP pension deposit. The goal of this program is to give seniors more financial support so they can better manage their spending. We'll provide you all the information you require to comprehend the implications of this for you or your loved ones. This new CPP pension deposit is available to whom? We'll go over who is eligible and when your bank account will receive the deposit. Seniors must be receiving CPP payments and fulfill specific requirements as determined by the CARA in order to be eligible. We'll break down these requirements into easy to understand explanations so you can decide if you qualify. We'll also go over the deposit schedule, including when you should start looking for the money in your bank account. Find out how seniors in Canada might improve their financial situation with an additional $4,800. This deposit can significantly improve your quality of life, help with unforeseen needs, and pay regular expenses like groceries and utilities. We'll go over the different applications for this money and how it can help many seniors by acting as a financial safety net. We'll walk you through how to see if your account has received the deposit. Find out how to check your bank statement online or in person at your neighborhood bank location will outline what to do if the deposit isn't there when you expect it, along with who to call for assistance and how to make sure there aren't any problems getting your money. A unique $4,801 time top-up payment is being deposited by the federal government directly into the accounts of CPP participants nationwide as of right now. This large infusion of cash might have a big impact on retirees who are having a hard time keeping up with the rising cost of living. The key question, though, is whether or not the recent CPP cut will be sufficient to relieve the financial burden that so many seniors are bearing. Let's examine the implications of this payment and determine if more assistance is required. The $4,800 CPP deposit that the Canadian government is introducing as a first significant quantities of money have never been added straight to senior CPP benefits. With inflation reaching a 40-year high, pensioners on fixed incomes are facing extreme financial strain due to the skyrocketing cost of necessities like food, housing, and health care. According to the federal government, the $24 billion CPP top-up is intended to assist low- and moderate-income seniors who are experiencing sharp price increases for essentials. Over the next week, the payment will be automatically distributed to around 6.3 million CPP participants who are 65 years of age or older. So what is the real extent to which the average senior may spend $4,800? To put this into perspective, take a look at the most recent Statistics Canada statistics, which indicates that consumer inflation is now hovering about 7% yearly. Some expenses have increased even more for seniors. Food prices have increased by more than 9% in the past year, and a healthy grocery basket for one person now costs about $400 per month. The average monthly rent for a one-bedroom apartment in major cities has increased by more than 5% nationwide to $1,200. Due to rising gas, electricity, and internet costs and falling cable prices, home utility costs have increased by 22%. Prescription drugs and dental care out-of-pocket expenses have increased by 6.3%. These numbers suggest that a single senior renting in a metropolis today may have the following monthly expenses $1,200 for rent, $400 for groceries, $200 for utilities, $100 for transportation, $300 for transportation, $300 for health care, and another $300 for a total of $2,500. This $2,500 monthly expense is compared to the $1,254 maximum CPP benefit for 2023, illustrating the shortage elders faced even prior to the current spike in inflation. Even while this $4,800 lump payment is substantial, it barely covers the average senior's two months' worth of living expenses when no debts, crises, or expenditures for leisure and amusement are taken into consideration. To what extent, then, will Canada's 6.3 million CPP users benefit from this payment? A senior getting the maximum monthly CPP payout of $1,254 would get an extra three for the $4,800. Their annual income is increased by more than 30% when they get eight months worth of CPPP income. If invested prudently, the extra funds might yield a monthly surplus of $200 or more. The $4,800 is equivalent to six months worth of CPP benefits for a lower income senior getting $800 in CPP each month. It also improves their yearly income by 50%. While this is a respectable short-term financial boost, it might not have a long-term effect. 
$4,800 is more than a year's worth of CPP income, a more considerable rise to yearly income over 60% for low-income seniors on guaranteed income supplements who receive maximum GIs of $1,063 every month and smaller CPP payments. As we can see, depending on the senior's current sources of income, the implications differ significantly. However, in every scenario, this one-time payment will assist in lessening the short-term effects of high inflation and growing expenses. Whether it provides sufficient, long-term financial assistance is the question. Although the CPP top-up is intended to assist seniors in surviving, some view it as a temporary fix that ignores the underlying reasons of long-term financial instability and poverty among the elderly. Much more, according to advocacy organizations like the National Pensioners Federation, is required. These include lower income taxes and tax credits to further stretch senior budgets, better access to affordable housing and home care services, better coverage for dental, vision, and other health care costs, and permanent and ongoing increases to CPP, OAs, and GS payments. They suggest creating a system that offers seniors steady income streams and financial dignity so they can live comfortably in retirement without worrying about money all the time rather than offering lump sum payouts. Millions of low-income seniors in Canada who do not receive CPP because of inadequate payments or other reasons are not included in the CPP top-up, which is another significant objection. Uh, regardless of a senior's eligibility for the Children and Pension Plan, organizations like the Canadian Association for Retired Persons or CARP contend that all lower-income seniors should get the benefits. Concerns have also been raised over the CPP top-up's one-time nature. Critics contend that rather than providing short-term lump sum cash injections to battle senior poverty, over the long run increases to permanent, recurrent income sources would be more beneficial, especially since inflation is predicted to stay high over the next years. Ultimately, even though the CPP top-up gives seniors much needed short-term financial comfort, it might just be a temporary band-aid solution to a much bigger problem. Many contend that even more radical remedies are needed since inflation is quickly decreasing purchasing power and jeopardizing retirement security. Increasing the CPP contribution rates to create a larger investment fund, expanding affordable housing initiatives, expanding rent subsidy programs for seniors, lowering qualifying thresholds for low-income benefits like GIs, implementing national universal pharmacare and dental care coverage, and offering more tax credits, deductions, or rebates are some potential policy changes and reforms that could be helpful. Naturally, putting any of these more extensive reforms into action would come with hefty costs in the billions or trillions of dollars, which the government might not be willing to incur. Meanwhile, seniors in Canada should anticipate ongoing short-term assistance and cash top-ups intended to help them weather the country's harsh inflation wave and skyrocketing living expenses. However, there is still work to be done and more drastic measures must be taken before retirees may truly enjoy financial security and dignity in the long run. Therefore, even while today's significant $4,800 CPP cash cut will surely give millions of Canadian seniors much needed short-term respite, it's only the beginning of what may turn out to be a much broader battle over the state of retirement and senior financial well-being in an uncertain economic climate. What it means to age comfortably in the next years may very well be redefined by how Canadian seniors negotiate this difficult terrain. It will take time to determine whether more significant reforms to safeguard retirement security are imminent or if the CPP payment received today is insignificant in comparison to what is actually required.